I'm a local business owner in Grand Isle. I'm a former chief of police and a lifetime fireman in Grand Isle, lifetime volunteer fireman. So right now, I'm just as I'm standing here, um, I'm looking at probably, you know, 75 to 80 percent devastation around just a, a, a random, you know, intact building. Um, seeing three to four foot of sand on top of the roadways and just about probably 90 percent of all the utility poles and lines are down. Pretty, pretty much a lot of devastation. Um, I've been doing this. Uh, fortunately, I've been blessed to be part of a, a good group of guys that we stay behind in uh, safe houses and whatnot for the storms. And we like to be here to, to be the ones to clear the roads back to, toward Lafouche Parish and, and assist the mayor and, and first responders in, in getting a safe path to get the residents back as quick as possible. So we've always, um, I'm part of a group of, of volunteers that we've been like I said, doing this for probably almost 40 years now. I think priority right now is to um, make passage to and from Grand Isle as safe as possible. Uh, secondly, we're working diligently with the parish and Councilman Ricky Template in Jefferson Parish to try to get uh, get our water system back up and running. We have no running water, and uh, we're just trying to get it where we don't wind up having a a biohazard problem or something here and hygiene, a hygiene problem. Uh, t simple things like, uh, hygiene, toothpaste, shampoo, towels, uh, socks, uh, things like that, or, you know, deli meats or sandwich materials, anything simple that we can serve or, or feed first responders with, um, with like a quick meal to, to come and go. But, you know, the simple things of, a, of a, uh, just a towel and bottled water or gallon water is, uh, is a luxury right now. Uh, the fire department, we're running about a, a team of 12, uh, 10 to 12. Um, I would probably say to, um, I would say the police department's probably running about the same number. And now we have uh, Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office showed up, but they're pretty much self-contained. Um, but I would probably say there's probably another 40 people down here right now that, uh, you know, hate to say it probably shouldn't be here. This time of the year with uh, Labor Day approaching right now, we would probably have 10 to 20,000 visitors and residents enjoying the last major, uh, you know, holiday of the summer. Uh, that's what we would be. That's what we would be doing right now on a, win a Wednesday before Labor Day, all of our little businesses and, uh, and stuff, we would be prepared for our, our big last last holiday. Um, I feel good. I feel like we've accomplished a good bit um, getting a, a single pathway open, at least back to Lafouche Parish. Um, I, I feel good that, I, that we've assisted, you know, people uh, that had to be medevaced and evacuated post-storm. Uh, I feel good about that, that we, we were here to assist and provide those services for people that, that you know, uh, against better judgment, stayed behind. Uh, the fire department, uh, Jefferson Parish built Grand Isle Volunteer Fire Department after Katrina, a very, very uh, well fortified safe house. It's their working everyday fire department, but it was designed and built to withstand um, events like we went through Sunday. Um, if you walk inside their department, you don't even hear the wind blow or anything when you walk out of course you know you experience 185 190 mile an hour winds but uh jefferson parish did a great job along with the fire department and designed a great building for this and we're about 25 feet above sea level um to the living main quarters so uh the thing that we walked out and we got in actually one of my uh, big farm tractors and we left actually uh sunday evening uh, right before dark and it was still pretty, pretty uh, blowing and sporty out there. I was just astounded. I was shocked by the amount of devastation that this storm had. You know, all during the storm, when we would look out the windows or the doorways, it was so bad that you could not see more than 50, 60 feet out the doors and windows because it was just a whiteout. It was almost like being in a blizzard. And when it did calm down enough, 
that we could see go out right before dark. We were shocked at the amount of devastation in the sand and stuff that accumulated on the roads. It would be a luxury if we could even, you know, I hate to say it, but right now if we could, if we, uh, if this fire department right now had five pounds of sliced ham and a couple loaves of bread, they, they would be excited. And you know, uh, we have we have MREs and we have the basics. We're, we're not hurting. We do try to cook one hot meal a day for everybody uh, from food that we had in all of our personal freezers and stuff. But uh, just a day in, day out during the day. I mean, I think a granola bar and a and a good ham and cheese sandwich and a bag of chips would would make put a smile on their face for a little while. Um, right now, I think Mayor Carmadale would be the best person to to coordinate that with. Um, or they could call the Grand Isle Volunteer Fire Department um, or through um, some of our great um, camp owners. I know we have good people like uh, Jimmy Quick and his wife and, and other good people that if, if they can coordinate and get in touch with one of us, even if we have to meet them at the Lafouche Parish floodgates, we can figure out a way to transfer that those uh, items to us. Um, we're very resilient uh, down here. Um, we've been through this a few times. I mean, not this, not this bad, but close to it. And, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna clean up and whatnot. We're gonna rebuild. I mean, it's, it's just hard to beat this place. We've got the best fishing in the world and, and it's, and it's a great place to come. Well, we, uh, you know, we plan ahead and we, we assess the risk and, and we, we try to do what we think's right for our community and, and that's that's what we do, you know. And I'm fortunate, like I said, to be part of a good team of guys that that I'm able to feel safe with, and we're confident and and uh, to get the job done, you know. So um, I'm glad, to, you know. I'm fortunate that the good Lord lets me donate my time like that, get back to my my town and my community. And we prep, we pre prep, got ready, got everything we needed. Uh, we had UTVs, ATVs on standby. We had everything ready to where when the storm passed, we were able to go out and give an initial assessment. Uh, we call back to the mayor and, and Jefferson Parish Council. We let them know what's, what we're seeing on the ground, and then from that point, they formulate and execute their their recovery plans, you know, to get in. So, And everything worked well.